Sometimes it rains at the cottage. But rain or shine, the show must go on. You to steer, he can knock any boat, he will teach you to float, he knows his way around the queue and the bonfire too. Adam Holman is the cottage coach. We're back up at Will and Larissa's place to shoot another episode, and our plan is to give them a nice new spot to hang out by the water and entertain friends. Hey, the rain stopped. All right, so they have this existing deck here that's really solid. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna lose this old canopy. We're gonna build them a pergola. The plan is to keep it simple. I'll build a pergola over the existing deck. I'll fasten four six by six posts to each corner and tie everything together with two by six beams. Then add rafters on top to give it character. Your belly's hanging out. <laughs> I'm removing the front deck board and the first top board. This will give me enough space to reach in and attach my posts from the inside. Son of a... Will and Larissa actually got a bench this episode. That's 188 inches. Fire in the hole. New blade, like butter. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna just uh, carry it over there if Amanda can get out of the way. <laughs> Bye. All right, I want my six by six posts to sit on something sturdy. So I have these patio stones that I'm gonna bury just below the surface. All right, so the stone is nice and solid. Chris is gonna help me grab a post. And we're gonna fasten it to the existing deck. Oh yeah, she's level. in my leg bolts from the inside will leave the outside with a clean finish. Once you have your four posts attached and level, move on to your beams. I'm taking a quick measurement because I want everything to hang over one foot. This will keep the final look of the pergola equal on all four sides. To make the ends look a little more decorative, I'm measuring one and a half inches from the top down and then trimming on a 55 degree angle. So you guys ever built a pergola before? Me neither. I'm using carriage bolts once again when attaching my beams to the posts. One thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure of is that you use galvanized or stainless steel fasteners to survive our Canadian winters. Now that I have my beams installed, I'm adding struts in each corner to give a little extra support and decoration. Once the last few rafters have been installed, I use an end sealer for extra moisture repellent. I'm installing brackets on the front posts with solar lights for at night. The old front step was rotten, so I'm replacing it with brick, and I'm using PL600 to hold the new blocks together. This will take 24 to 48 hours to dry. You've been working very hard on this pergola, buddy. I'm happy with it, man. Yeah, yeah. It looks really good. That's the hardest I've ever seen you work. We all worked hard on this one. 
We almost broke you. No, you won't break me. We almost broke you. <laughs> you won't break me. And now, it's time for the big reveal. Should we check out the pergola? Oh, pergola. yeah, let's go see yeah. the pergola. Okay. So you had an old deck here. Yeah. Yeah. So I spruced it up a little for you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what? Look at Mike. Oh, my God. Oh my God, it's good for climbing. <laughs> oh my God. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is awesome. Wow. You have your own little spot down by the lake. Oh my gosh. Thanks again, Adam. This is incredible. <laughs> Drive north, drive north. Deep in thought on the edge of the rock, the water is There are times when it all just comes together. What better way to end season one than with good friends, great music, and cold beers? Under a beautiful new waterfront pergola, of course. Just getting by, drive north. So on behalf of the entire Cottage Coach crew, thanks for watching. It means a lot. And we'll see you guys soon for season two. Go 